welcome to WWDC 2019. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and today we're going to talk about WWDC 2019, Apple's worldwide developer conference which just got over. Every tech publication on the internet has already covered it. I'm going to give you an India perspective. So if that is something that is interesting to you, please stick on. Let's get started. Let's start with iOS, the world's most powerful mobile operating system and Apple's greatest invention to date. Yes, iOS 13 is coming out in a couple of months. Yes, iOS 13 will be supported on iPhone 6S, which launched in 2015. Let's just think of that for a couple of seconds. And yes, iOS 13 will bring dark mode, a feature which almost everyone Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration. A lot of people have wished for from the beginning of iOS. To be clear, iOS 13's dark mode, which is across system apps, notifications, settings, and widgets, will not bring a huge battery advantage to phones which have an LCD screen, which a majority of the iPhones in India have, but it will be easier on the eyes. Granted, everything is always so bright here. Let's quickly touch on login with Apple and burner emails. I hate logging into apps on my phone or the iPad because the screen is so small. You have to enter your password. I hate logging in with Facebook because I mistrust the company completely. And I hate logging into apps in India because app developers take so much advantage of user permissions. Logging in with Apple is a more secure way of doing it. Apple generally has a better reputation when it comes to user privacy and a burner email can be created, which is a sort of a use and throw email, which you can get rid of later on if you don't want it. Did anyone notice the number of apps that Apple copied and baked right into the operating system? I mean, as a user, I don't want to constantly have to download apps in order to get anything done. But as a developer, I want Apple to give me that room in order to build some additional features for their operating system. Whether it's a fertility app that Apple has baked into Apple Health or Spotify and Apple Music or Netflix and Apple TV or Apple TV OS, Apple seems to be blurring the line between where a developer ends and Apple begins. Oh, and speaking of apps, Apple has changed the way they package apps to ensure that apps installation and updates can be up to 50% smaller. If you are too poor to afford the higher end storage version of the iPhone, you will thank Apple for this, especially when they start uninstalling apps because they haven't been used for too long. Let's talk about watch OS now. I don't have much to say about it, except that Apple has launched a separate watch OS app store. I applaud any attempt to separate the watch from the iPhone. And while having the Apple watch working with an Android phone seems like a pipe dream, which will never happen. At least this takes it one step further into becoming its own device. Talking about macOS, there is a new version rolling out, Catalina. So Catalina takes forward Apple's vision of having universal apps with apps can be developed for iPad and then extended over to the Mac. Here's something that you need to know. Apple is currently being sued for anti-competitive practices on the App Store on the iPhone. But when it comes to the Mac, there are other ways where you can sideload apps or programs directly onto the Mac without using the Apple Mac App Store. While I'm excited about iPad apps extending into the Mac using Project Catalyst, I'm really worried that Apple will do the same thing to the Mac App Store and lock the whole thing down. Let's spend a moment of silence over iTunes. Apple has finally killed off the program in favor of three new baby programs, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, and Apple TV. Although this is only for the Mac, we don't have any word on whether this will roll out for Windows as well, which is the predominant operating system in India. Given the fact that Apple now is supporting Microsoft Xbox controllers on Apple TV, you never know how these things can pan out. And finally, let's talk about the thing that I am most excited for from WWDC, iPad OS. Yes, finally, iPad is getting its own separate sort of distinct operating system. Over the last one year, if anyone has asked me what is the best computer they can buy in India, I've usually said it's almost the iPad. The reason there is an almost there is because of two things actually. First is desktop class browsing, which Apple is now bringing to the iPad. 
Up until now, if you had to open Safari on your iPad, it would open the mobile version of a website or it would kick you out into the mobile app. I spend 60% of my time at a laptop in a browser, so it's huge news to me that Apple iPads will now support desktop class websites. Secondly, there is the brand new Files app. Ever since Apple rolled out USB-C last year with the iPad Pro, we've all been expecting one feature which Apple in their pig-headedness refused to give us the ability to connect a thumb drive or a pen drive into your iPad Pro. Now with iPad OS, you can finally do that. I think it's safe to say that unless you're a hardcore gamer or a creative professional that needs an actual computer, the iPad is now the best computer you can get. That's about it for my thoughts on WWDC for India. I'm not going to talk about the Mac Pro and the new Pro Display XDR. They are stupidly expensive slash powerful and there are only a handful of people in India who can afford them or who would actually need them. Although if Android manufacturers are all about finding options for people at the low end, Apple now seems to be able to find options for people at the high end. If you are a specific class of creative professional, for example, you need to do a really intense composition, you have no other option logically than to go for a Mac Pro. Let me know what you guys think of WWDC down in the comment section down below, which is the feature that you were most excited for. Go over to YouTube and subscribe to Vlog of Note. Turn on notifications so that you never miss a video and I will catch you guys in the next one.